curious about your experience of voting differently from your parents. <laughs> I have that same experience yeah. in the opposite direction, and I just want to know how that is for y'all. I always joke that I tried to raise them right, and I just don't know what <laughs> happened. Unfortunately, I think the position we take towards it now generally is just not to talk about it, because I don't know that we can really talk about it without getting upset at each other. Mm -hmm. Do y'all have success in talking about it? No, we really don't. My relationship with my parents took a serious hit in the last election. Our sources of information are so different. Yeah. So that made it hard all along. And I, yeah. I'm sad because my job is bringing people together and yeah. reconciliation in Jesus' name. And yeah. I haven't managed to make that a reality in my own family. Part of it is, is they'll be like, this group of people is ignorant or uneducated or they'll make assumptions about intentions. And I always have to stop and go, you realize that you're talking about me, right? That's really where it breaks down and where inevitably it's not even about the issue. It's about like, who are you saying I am as a person? Mm -hmm. And that's what I think is frustrating about mm -hmm. it. It's hard on both of us, I think. Yeah. I just don't know how anybody's politics doesn't feel personal. I do think it's easier to bridge the gap with a stranger slash sure. new friend than it is with someone that you have a really intense emotional connection with already. So I'm thankful that I can hopefully take some of this stuff and bring it to those conversations slowly. I'm not going to jump into them. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably not going to call my dad on the way home. <laughs>